We all know zombies. Even if we don't know them, we've probably seen a movie or TV show that features them. A virus is found and whoever is infected with this virus turns into a zombie and whoever the zombie bites turns into a zombie. And then slowly, the entire population will turn into a zombie. But this is all Hollywood. Recently, there has been some news that a zombie virus has been found. When COVID hit and it wasn't that bad, it basically paralyzed the entire world's economy and it's just now recovering. But a zombie virus seems like no joke. If it's actually real, it could end the world. The earth is getting warmer day by day. Some people say people are responsible for this. Some say no, it's natural that the earth is getting warmer. Either way, the ice are melting. And on top of that, the sea levels are rising. But these changes are not the topic of today's video. There is a type of soil on earth that's called permafrost. And you could kind of imagine it as frozen soil. 15% of the North Pole is made of permafrost. If you look at this map, you'll see that permafrost is found in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and Siberia. These parts of land have been frozen for hundreds or maybe even millions of years, and it has been a minute since they've melted. But they're beginning to get softer, and this has made biologists all around the world to find different viruses inside the bodies of these permafrost. Viruses that were here thousands of years ago, but were frozen in time. There was a virus found in permafrost called the pethovirus. They predict that this virus was frozen about 30,000 years ago and it remained there till the scientists found it. Fortunately, pethovirus doesn't have any effect on living animals. But finding viruses like this has worried scientists for a while and they say to themselves, what else is here that we don't know anything about? But we have to tell the scientists around the world to leave the permafrost alone. We don't want to deal with another virus because we're just recovering from COVID. But you could say scientists are addicted to the game and when they find something, they will go to the end of the earth to research about it. There was another virus found in the Siberian permafrost that was 48,000 years old. This is the oldest virus that people have found in history. And when the news came out, you could say the news networks and social media pages started to clickbait it and they named it the zombie virus has been found. And that's in a way where scientists have no clue what this virus does. They haven't even figured out if it's dangerous or not. The reason is that they work on these viruses in somewhere that's quarantined and they don't let anybody just enter the laboratory. So the chances of someone getting this virus is very low. Finding viruses in permafrost is something that's very new to us. So when a 48,000 year old virus or a little bit younger than this one is fine in the permafrost. Just imagine what else is down there. And this is the exactly that worries not only scientists around the world, but the people around the world when they hear news like this. The category, the viruses that have been found is set in the infectious viruses, but they're not sure if it's dangerous. Another reason scientists worry is that the more and more of these ice melt, any virus that wants to escape the ice we can't control it like that. And that's why when the ice opens up, these viruses are free to escape and they could enter the air. As you know, all types of viruses are in the air. And when it starts to rain and every 24 hours that it rains, 800 million viruses fall per square meter. And this should put in perspective how much virus is floating in the air right now. But most of these viruses are not infectious 
and they don't do anything to living things. If that wasn't the case, everybody would be dead by now. Some of these viruses are even essential to life on Earth. But either way, we have no idea what other viruses lay underneath this ice. There might be a lot of killer viruses sleeping down there, or there might be some viruses that do nothing at all. This part of Siberia is called the Batagaika Crater. Scientists call this area of Siberia the most dangerous place for hidden viruses underneath ice. Why is that? Because back in the day, this place was a forest. And since the 1960s, deforestation took place and they destroyed the trees. And because of no trees, the sun hits the soil and it caused the permafrost to start to get soft. Before the 1960s, the ground would not even be hit with sunlight and the ice would stay put. But getting rid of the trees has affected this area in a negative way. The crater in this area is an extremely weird shape. And second of all, the land is completely different from next to it. And since the permafrost is softer in this area, it literally started to push down. And since it created a crater, they named this dip the Batagaika Crater. But this area is getting worse. Since the thawing of the permafrost is quickly going up, it's expanding. And scientists predict that for every year, this thing is expanding by 10 meters. The people of that area put an interesting name on this crater. They call it the Stairway to Hell, and it makes sense. Because in this area, the permafrost is melting quicker than anywhere on Earth. And scientists say, if the ancient virus wants to wake up one day, it will probably be here first. But this issue is not only in the North Pole. You could find the same issues in Antarctica as well. But the melting of the permafrost is much slower in Antarctica than the North Pole. Let's get back to the Batagaika crater. Just like we said, a lot of scientists are afraid of this crater. And they believe some dangerous things could fly out of this thing. But there are a lot of optimistic scientists as well that are happy about this crater. And they believe a place like this could be looked at like a time machine. And we could study ancient viruses and figure more about planet Earth. The most interesting thing about permafrost is that you could go back in time. Especially in terms of viruses, microbes or other living organisms. But it's extremely high risk as well because there is always a chance you could find the zombie virus in between these. But these zombies are from the movies. But there's still a chance of extremely dangerous viruses. Either way, the planet is entering a new era. The humans could be at fault. Or it's naturally going through changes. Either way, we hope nothing bad happens to Earth and its living creatures. We talked about a few different subjects in this video, from planet Earth to climate change to zombie viruses. Please let us know what you think.